Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So tonight I'm gonna make that chili I promised you. I made home canned chili beans. They're over there. Uh, and I wanna compare them to the dry method that I usually use. I par cook these and so I followed the blue ball canning book directions on how to do this. And so I added my own chili spices and all that. You would be able to do it without it. I'll attach both videos in the um, video response section down below in the comment section. And you can go back and watch those if you'd like. I'll also in the description box place my um, Facebook page as well as my Wild Tree website. And um, that way, if you see me use a Wild Tree product and you are interested in trying them, you can go over there and shop if you'd like, or you can go over there for ideas for recipes. Um, they have a great recipe section as well. And, um, but I, I do want you guys to know that you can replace anything that I use with your normal household products that you usually buy. So um, I hope that this inspires you to stay along. I'm gonna do this on a light version. I, right after Thanksgiving, I bought turkeys on sale for 45 cents a pound, and I boned and skinned them and made my own ground turkeys, so um, I'm going to use that as my meat content for this chili, and that way we'll get a good flavor for our chili beans, and uh, then I can share it at work or just keep it around. The husband's coming home. <laughs> All right. So I hope it inspires you. Let's go make some chili. I am so glad you guys stayed for this because I really wanted to give you a good review of how I felt the difference was between these chili beans and the ones that I do with a dry canning method. I, um, the dry canning method I love. Yes, you have to be careful and guesstimate how how many beans and how they're going to expand and it takes some experimenting uh, but I only had one spot where I felt like I had too many beans in the jar not from the chili beans but I did a different bean recipe and it it, it could have used less beans so each bean that you're using will rehydrate differently some take more water than others and it doesn't necessarily mean because it's a large bean so I'm, I'm glad you're here, I, and I know this is another chili recipe, but we love chili, so it seemed fitting to use my chili beans in chili, because this will be, in a situation where I didn't have a lot of spices available, this has it all in there, right there, and so I really feel like this was a no-brainer to test it out. I've got some ground turkey that I did myself after Thanksgiving, got them 40, or no, 45 cents a pound, and parted them out, made soup, made all kinds of stuff, made stock, um, and made a bunch of ground turkey for the freezer. And so I've got about, I think it's a little less than a pound of ground turkey. And if you've never done that, I recommend it. It doesn't taste anything like what you buy ground turkey in the store, which I do buy it, but I prefer this. So if turkeys are on sale again here over the holidays, I'll be buying them. So now uh, we have a, a big onion that I've diced up, three large jalapenos, but I seeded them and cored them so they shouldn't be hot. In fact, I'll taste it and see how hot this is. It's warm, but it's not hot. So um, it will add some heat. There's also heat in here, so I might, maybe I'll start with half and see how we do. Um, I've got a can of tomato sauce, an eight ounce can, and two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes, which I try to get organic tomatoes whenever possible. I try to get no salt added whenever possible. That's just my preference, but I'm gonna ground or brown up this ground turkey and we'll take you over to the stove and let you see how that goes and we'll just get started on this. It, I, I don't think chili could be any simpler. It's just easy and delicious. So, okay, so going. I've got my bean pot screaming hot. I'm gonna put down some grapeseed oil to get this turkey started. Um, I use both light and dark meat in my ground turkey. Uh, and this is the smoky bacon flavored grapeseed oil. Who doesn't love bacon? And I get flavor from it. 
without the guilt. This is healthy for our family. So I put the grapeseed oil down, maybe a tablespoon, and it's really just to get this ground turkey started. Um, that jalapeno, <laughs> I just had a little tiny bite. I'm probably gonna use, I'm gonna start with a quarter of that amount. So it was a little spicier. The last jalapenos I bought weren't spicy at all. And so I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have enough heat. But that one does. It kind of feels odd not spicing things up as I go and layering the flavor, but all the spices should be right in that jar of beans that I can. So it really saves you time and money in the long run. And remember, those beans only cost me, I got them on sale, 60 cents a pound. And they were a small red bean. It didn't say kidney beans, it just said red beans. So. Um, I love kidney beans in my chili, but I also really like pinto beans. Um, pinto beans would be a great option. Maybe I'll do those next for you guys. Okay, I'm going to finish browning this off, and I'll bring it. It goes really quick, so I'll bring you back when I'm adding everything else. Okay, you guys, so it has had a chance to brown. There's really no fat left in here. Um, th there's some water, you know, that the turkey lends off, but no fat to drain off, which is super nice. I haven't drained fat off of a ground meat of any kind in years, but um, just because we try to eat pretty lean if we can. And this is an inexpensive way to do it. Most of the time, if you're trying to get healthy, it gets more expensive. But when you do it yourself and take the extra moment to make an afternoon with your family and, you know, take some ground turkey a couple times a year and make your own. And you can can this. I, I was going to use canned ground turkey, but um, I thought, no, I want to use this because I love the flavor. So, that being said, I'm going to add in my onions and part of the jalapeno so you can see that going down and we'll let the onions kind of sweat in there I'm I'm gonna keep the whole onion but I'm gonna try to measure off maybe a jalapeno and I'll save the jalapeno for some fresh salsa or maybe some you know put in some cornbread something if I decide not to use it sometimes after you cook them they mellow out a little bit so usually they're not this warm, but that one was a little, that had a bite. And I always use gloves. You guys know that to cut them up. I'm not I'm not okay with getting that oil on my contacts, and then the next morning having a horrible morning trying to get them back out of my eye. So and so I'm gonna let this go just for a minute and I'll bring you right back when um, it'll probably to get these onions to kind of soften up and become translucent it'll probably be hmm, three minutes five minutes tops and then I'll have you right back and we'll uh, get with the sauce all right so now I've got to grab something here I'm sorry um, I'm going to put it in the tomatoes and the sauce, and I'm going to get the beans open, get those in. I'm excited, and we'll see if we need any more of anything else. The meat is cooked all the way through, so that's really fast food my way. Um, some diced tomatoes. We go through so many diced tomatoes. Between what I can and what I buy, it goes through a lot. And I probably will need some more sauce, but we'll see in a minute. I want to add the beans in. I want this to be a thick chili. And, oh, I'm going to make a 
special treat for you guys with this um, tomorrow. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Okay. Now I have my canned chili beans, and they look delicious. You can see the chunks of the onion, the red bell pepper. I'm going to link the video below of where I did this, so you can kind of see what's in here. There's garlic and onion and peppers, and the there's only a half a serrano pepper in there. But peppers, sometimes they tend to intensify in heat as they're cooked, or the canning process sometimes will intensify certain spices and flavors so you can change out any of these ingredients the, I'm just trying to give you a review on these beans and how they came out comparison wise in tenderness and boy you know um, my other ones are like our favorite and chili beans a 15 ounce can and I've got right here to this full fill line does that say 16 ounces to that fill line but a 15 ounce can of like ranch beans is 75 cents or 80 cents in the store some plain beans are over a dollar so watch for the seal whoa that was a good one <laughs> mm, smells delicious Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to pour that right down in there. And look how beautiful. Now, you've got a lot of spice and stuff, so I want to get all that out. Just like I would if it was a, let's say, a can of pasta sauce or something. I want to get all that spicy stuff out of there. Don't waste it. You can always cook it and let the water evaporate so I've got a little water in the bottom here to get the rest of that out and that's all I want to do now pretty much other than simmering for a while this chili is done <clears throat> now you could thicken this up if you want um, I'm gonna let it kind of evaporate on its own you got these beautiful chunks of tomato. It's just a really hearty chili. I'm excited. It smells amazing. I cannot wait. Well, maybe I can't wait. And that pint and a half of beans, it's not overloaded with beans. It's perfect for this little pot. And this is enough for, gosh, if you split this up in, for three or four hungry guys, and some cornbread or some you know muffins of some sort or turn this into a tamale pie and feed even more people um, still pretty reasonable you're looking at 60 cents a pound for the beans the turkey was a whole 45 cents a pound um, the jalapenos let's see I used uh, probably one and a half because I cheated and put some more in. And an onion. Oh my gosh. This is way reasonable. I'll try to figure it out before I'm done with this video and do the math for you. And then the tomatoes that we put in there. So I'll bring you back when this has had a chance to simmer and kind of let go of some of that um, water and let it evaporate a little bit. Just reduce down. All right, guys. Didn't look pretty and mm, it smells amazing. I cannot wait. I'm hungry and I want to taste it. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm really hungry, I mean I, <laughs> I'm starving. It's it's kind of late. It's been snowing off and on, and I still don't think this is reduced enough, but it's definitely cooked long enough, and. If you wanted way more beans, add another can. I'm going to hoard these beans because uh, I tasted this broth and all this, and it's absolutely delicious. I have not added any spices to it, but I am going to add a thickening agent. I want this thicker. It's almost there, but it's not reduced quite enough. I don't want to add any tomato powder because I don't want to change the acidity. And... I, I, don't, I just don't want to add anything that's going to change the flavor too much. So, 
I'm going to add a couple helpings of potato flakes. Just a couple. These are tablespoons that you would use um, for your dinner table. Okay? And we're going to mix that in. It isn't enough to change the flavor, but it is certainly enough to, oh, you can already see it thickening up. I mean, it might mellow the flavor a little bit. I'm going to add another heaping. I do this quite often with soups, especially if there's potatoes in it. Um, I'll look at it. Perfect. Now we're talking. Now we're talking that thick chili that I want without changing the spice blend or changing the way these those beans are going to taste or feel to me. And so now we're ready to t give you a taste test and I'm going to take you over to the other counter and do that for you. All right guys, hold on for the bread. <laughs> okay, so here's the final result and you can see how just a couple of tablespoons really maybe a third of a cup of potato flakes instant potato flakes can thicken up a dish and make it ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and dish this up now if you like more chili beans um, add more I you know I, I like a lot of beans but some people like very few or none so there's my portion <clears throat> I've got a little, oh, maybe a tablespoon of some grated cheese, and we'll put down a couple little dice slices of green onion. And now we got to get you a close up because oh, it smells amazing. I can't wait. Let's get you a close up and see what we got. I don't want blurry. Why does it want to get blurry? Do I need a new camera? Okay. And I hope that's not blurry here. We'll give it that. Mm. So we've got ground turkey. It's very lean. Very inexpensive, 45 cents a pound, and a little labor. And, ooh, my, we're trying to review these beans, so let's take a bite overall first, and then I'll pick out a bean and, and give you a rundown on how that feels. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Got a big old bite. Mmm. Mmm, -hmm. mm, I love chili. <laughs> wow, that's delicious. And I can tell you, you do not detect potato flakes. So just in case you're worried, it's a great thickening agent and I use it all the time. Mmm, um, wow. The turkey's very flavorful. So let's pick out a chili bean. Okay, so these were red beans. And um, well, this is my bowl, so I'm touching it. They're really soft. Mm. Texture-wise, they are different than the last chili beans that I made. The dry chili beans hold their texture a little bit. I don't think these are mushy at all. They're just softer. Um, so I would say, if I had to guess... Mm. Wow, and not too much jalapeno, actually, it's, it's perfect. If I had to guess what the actual canners do for us to provide us our canned beans, I'm guessing they measure them out and pressure can them from a raw state because <clears throat> my dry canned beans have a better texture to me. I, I still love these and I will use them and the actual spices I did not change one thing 
I left all the spices alone. The only thing I added was stuff that you saw. Um, and I did act actually add a little bit more of the jalapeno than I showed on film. But other than that, I didn't salt it. I didn't spice it. I did nothing to this. Um, everything came out of that jar. So that being said, I think next time I'll go back to my dry canning method and I'll save maybe this method. I'll try it with no spicing. I don't know. I'm, um, I'm, I really like the texture. I love the texture and flavor of beans. So, um, this one was a little softer. So, um, I hope this inspires you to try something new. Try, you know, try some things on your own and, and figure out what you like to do and what you like to eat. Maybe share it with your friends, your family, and if you like this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and post it on your post it, <laughs> post it on your Facebook page and share it with your friends and family. And um, as always, guys, this was an inexpensive, fabulous meal, and I'm gonna dress this up in a different outfit on my very next video. So stay tuned. All right, guys. God bless. Thank you.